हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज बायोडाइवर्सिटी बियॉन्ड नेशनल जूरिस्टिक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी वाई इज इट इन द न्यूज The Blue Leaders High Level Event on Biodiversity Beyond National Jurisdiction took place in Belgium encouraging nations to ratify the marine biodiversity of areas beyond national jurisdiction treaty aimed at protecting the high seas from pollution climate change and overfishing Now let's discuss what is BBNJ treaty The BBNJ Treaty commonly referred to as the Treaty of the High Seas was agreed upon in March 2023 for the conservation and sustainable use of marine biological diversity in areas beyond national jurisdiction. It represents a crucial step towards conserving and sustainably managing marine biological diversity in areas beyond national jurisdiction. The treaty aims to address the challenges faced by the high seas which constitute areas beyond 200 nautical miles from the exclusive economic zones of coastal countries now moving on to objectives of the treaty the treaty seeks to increase the percentage of protected areas on the high seas which currently stands at a mere 1.44% despite covering more than 2/3 of the global ocean Additionally it aims to ensure fair and equitable sharing of profits from marine genetic resources and establish rules for conducting environmental impact assessments which deal with identifying and evaluating the potential impacts an activity could have on the ocean This aligns with the 30 into 30 target it is a global commitment to protect at least 30% of the planet for nature by 2030 It was agreed upon at the Convention on Biological Diversity at the Conference of Parties to the UN Convention on Biological Diversity in 2022 and is included in the coming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework. Moving on to challenges. Despite widespread support for the treaty, concerns persist regarding potential delays in ratification. Echoing past challenges faced by similar international agreements like the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Seas. Additionally, operationalizing the treaty poses logistical hurdles including defining procedural frameworks and securing adequate funding. Lastly, moving on to the way forward. Efforts towards the treaty's entry into force and subsequent implementation require concerted global collaboration. The upcoming United Nations Ocean Conference in 2025 is identified as a crucial platform for advancing these objectives. Now is the time for practice question. What is the primary concern that the BBNJ treaty seeks to address? Pollution control in international waters, conservation and sustainable use of marine biodiversity beyond national jurisdiction, regulation of shipping activities in the high seas or protection of marine ecosystems within exclusive economic zones. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications